Hey guys, welcome to the Element Pack Pro widget tutorial. Today we'll talk about the comparison list widget brought to you by Element Pack 7.0 update. Let's grab our widget and place it inside the page. The default view of the widget presents a feature list with segments that define if the features are available for certain categories or not. This type of interface is very common for most SaaS-based business websites, but we made it easier for you to design such one. Not to mention the features come as accordions so you can push more detail inside. Inside the options, the first field named Titles lets you input the titles for the header area. First is the feature list title and the rest are the corresponding packages. Each title needs to be separated using a pipe character in the field. The active item field adds an extra background color style to the selected title to highlight it from the rest of the titles. The numbers start from 0, where 0 is the feature list title position. Then below are the comparison list items. Each item accounts for a single feature with a custom description. Click on an item box and here you can customize the title and description simultaneously. Scroll down a bit and you will find the feature ability field where you can define for which titles the feature is going to be available. Here 0 means not and 1 means yes. The counting starts apart from the 0 position which is the feature item list. Once again you need to separate the numbers with the pipe character. For example, let's put 1 for all 3 titles and you will see a check mark appearing on 3 of them. Likewise, start customizing the rest of the feature list item until you have your desired list ready. Also, you may add more items anytime you want. This may take a while to finish so you may skip ahead. Once done with the details, we can head to the style menu to customize the appearance of the comparison list. Starting with the background color of the header part. You can switch to different colors but we are sticking to the white color. You can ungroup and customize the padding field for better allocating space around the content. Then you can customize the color as well as the typography option for the font style of the regular titles. Notice the active title color also changes but you can separately configure colors for the active title from the next subsection. First the text color, then the background color. You can also add a border around it for style. Turning the border radius to 0 to sharpen the corners. Next, let's go to the list item section to start customizing the item colors. First a subtle color for the background, then white for the stripe. After that, change the border color to match the others. Customize the padding values to add even spaces around the content here. Switching to the active background color subsection, change the colors so that the active category gets its own color stripe. Then going into the list item title section. Here you can adjust the icon size that's beside the main feature to list titles. Then change the font style through typography. The feature ability section is a fun part of the whole widget. First, let's change the checked color to blue and then the close color to red. You can remove the border to keep the icons minimal, just adjusting the padding values here. Note that you can apply hover and active style modifications to further enhance the appearance of these little icons here. Lastly, the content section lets you customize the text color, typography, background and padding of the featured description text. The description text appears once you expand a feature. And that's all the modifications for the comparison list widget. You can do more creative interface design by utilizing all the options given here. Hope this video helped, give a thumbs up to this video, please subscribe and share this channel and get updates on new tutorial videos. Until then, stay safe and see you next time.